Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing a very special beer. This is Jackie O's Oro Negro. This is basically their take on a Mexican style stout. So the base beer is actually Oil of Aphrodite which is their imperial stout brewed with walnuts. But then for this one, they've also aged it on cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, habaneros, oak staves, and cinnamon sticks. Really looking forward to this one. I've heard a ton of great stuff so far. Super fresh, just hit Ohio for distribution. It actually sold out in our store in 30 minutes. So this thing went quick, went fast. Really lucky to get my hands on a bottle. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh wow, up front it's dominated by the cinnamon for sure. Yeah, lots of cinnamon. Uh, oddly enough, I actually get the walnuts too. There's this really deep nutty note in there as well. Definitely getting some of the spiciness from the habaneros. It's not like burning my nostrils or anything, but I definitely get that spiciness. Kind of blends with the cinnamon actually. Definitely getting some dark chocolate. I'm getting some nice roasted notes. I'm not getting much in the way of vanilla. I'm not getting much in the way of the oak either. Definitely a little bit of sweetness, like a caramel kind of sweetness in there too, but it's mostly the cinnamon, the spicy peppers. Yeah, smells pretty good. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Up front, just like in the aroma, and this thing is dominated by the cinnamon. It's like this really fresh ground cinnamon. Up front, I'm definitely getting more of the vanilla, too. As it sits in my palate, I'm definitely getting more of the vanilla. It's still not real big. It's more of a subtle note, for sure. But it's cinnamon. It starts out with this nice kind of sweeter note, like a little bit of caramel in there, too. Definitely dark chocolate, but some sweeter milk chocolate as well. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, man, that's good. And the habaneros are really integrated. It's not like punch you in the face, this is super duper hot or anything. But the heat kind of builds as I'm drinking it. After the second sip, I do get a little bit more heat. It's mostly on the back end because you get like the spicy cinnamon up front and then that turns into more this dark chocolate, very nice roasted notes. almost like a, a fudgy kind of cocoa type of taste, really. It's very, very rich in the chocolate department. And then again, that roasted notes, a little bit of vanilla, some caramel. And then as it sits on my palate, it kind of gets a habanero heat on the back end. So it kind of starts out spicy from the cinnamon and in spicy on the habaneros, which is really nice. It's very well balanced. Again, the only thing I'm not really getting is the oak. I really don't pick up on it at all, honestly. Yeah, this is nice. It's definitely more of like the medium full. It's not quite that full full, but it's got a great body. It's got a creamy coating, smooth mouthfeel. It's almost chewy to a point too, but this drink's great. I'm not sure where the hell they hid that 10% though, because it's nowhere to be found whatsoever. This is really, really tasty. It reminds me a lot of Choco Vaser from Stone actually. I know some people have been comparing it to like Bomb or even Hunapu, etc. I haven't had, you know, I've had Bomb, I wouldn't say it was really that similar, honestly. Who knows I've never had, but yeah, it kind of reminds me of Shoko Vesa from Stone, but this is almost like an amplified version of this. This is just really, really well done. It's almost like a spice cookie because that cinnamon melds with the vanilla, and then there's this nice caramel kind of malty note in there. That dark chocolate is like a fudgy dark chocolate. This is. Really, really nice stuff. If you like Mexican style stouts, this is one well worth picking up. If you're not in Ohio, trade for it. It shouldn't be that difficult, though. This is really, really nice. Of course, again, Jack Yost just hits out of the park. Awesome beer. In terms of rating, guys, I'm going with 9.6 out of 10. I think this is just hands down one of the best stouts they've done so far, especially being a non barrel aged one. It's just great, great stuff. Again, it's definitely dominated by the chili. It, by the habaneros and by the cinnamon you definitely get the vanilla it's a little bit more subtle though the cocoa nibs obviously a big influence that fudgy dark chocolate nice creamy milk chocolate good roasted notes 
again, it's just, it's everything in balance. It's just really well balanced. Alcohol is hidden, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I do get a little bit of extra dryness on the back end, which could maybe, maybe be attributed to the oak staves. Other than that, don't get the oak. Everything else, really nicely balanced. If you guys like this kind of stuff, go check it out. All right, that does it for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.